this video we are going to learn about the design of multi cycle data path this picture actually shows the single cycle data path using pipeline stages in this discussion we are going to consider there are five stages in the pipeline that is instruction fetch instruction decode execution memory access and write back are the five different stages that we are considering in the pipeline the multi cycle data path is nothing nothing but single cycle data path itself is divided into different stages of pipeline so this diagram actually shows the single cycle data path out of which which part is coming into which pipeline stage so if you see here this particular part is coming under the instruction fetch and this particular part comes under the instruction decode and this parts comes under the execution and these comes under the memory access this part comes under the write back stage of pipeline in the pipeline discussion we already know that we are supposed to introduce buffers in between different stages so that buffers is nothing but considered as different resistors in this uh, case that is instruction fetch instruction decode resistor that is iff id resistor which is shown here which is uh, acting as a buffer in between the fetch and decode stages of pipeline similarly id ex is a resistor which acts as a buffer between the decode and execution stage and ex m em resistor which acts as a buffer between the execution and memory access stage and mem wb is a resistor which acts as a buffer between memory access and write back stages we will see different stages for load instruction that is how a uh, load instruction will be executed in different stages of pipeline using this data path design process so in the first stage that is fetch stage we can see that the instruction being read from the memory using the address in the pc and then being placed in ifid pipeline register the pc address is incremented by 4 and then pc is updated for the next clock cycle in this stage instruction decode stage we uh, in the previous fetch cycle during fetch cycle we have seen that if the instruction fetched from the instruction memory is placed in the ifid register so from the instruction we are going to give the 16 offset bit value to the sign extension unit and the re register from which we are going to read is given into the read register 1 so from that particular register file we are going to read read the data from register 1 and the output comes from the read data 1 so this read data 1 and the sign extend sign extended value will be put into the id ex register along with the incremented pc value so three uh, data three data that is incremented pc value the read data 1 and the sign extended value will be stored into the id ex register the next stage is execution stage so here in this uh, discussion we are talking about the load instruction only so the load instruction whatever the register is specified and the data read data 1 which is stored in the id ex data here ex register will be stored in alu that is the first input is from read register or read data 1 to the alu and the second one is the sign extended value will be the input of the alu so alu result will be the operand address here so this operand address will be uh, stored in ex mem register this will not be uh, working out here because it is not a branch instruction and these uh, will be giving only in the case of branch instructions the next stage that is memory access stage operand address which is the output of the alu result and stored in ex mem register from there it will be given to the data memory and from data memory the corresponding data from the given address will be read into from here read data and stored in mem 
and WB that is right back resistor. The data from the MEM WB pipeline resistor is written into the resistor file using this multiplexer output. So here if you see in the right back resistor it, this will be coming into the right data from the instruction which is already given as a right resistor. Select right resistor is already selected. So from uh, this particular write data it will be written into the write register. You can observe that there are no control signals included in any of these figures. Now we are going to include the control signals for each and every level. So these control signals are divided into five groups based on the different stages of the pipeline. So in the case of instruction fetch stage we will be having the instruction memory to read and to write the PC actually. These will be always asserted because in the pipe, this pipeline stage will be always activated and we keep on doing a fetching process of one or the other instruction. So these signals will be always asserted and so separate control signals are not required actually. The next one is instruction decode or register file read. As in the previous stage, that is in the case of fed cycle, as we have seen that there are no uh, requirement of control lines, here also one or the other instruction will be keep on decoding, so we don't require any special control signals. The next one is execution or address calculation. In this case, the execution depends upon the type of instruction, so we require some control signals. So the, here the control signals what we are uh, giving in this particular stage is nothing but uh, register destination, ALU operation and ALU SRC. A register destination will be used in the case of uh, result register to select the result register. ALU operation will be used in the case to select a particular operation that need to be performed in the ALU and ALU SRC is used to select a particular data that is either from read data to from the register file or a sign extended value from the sign extension unit as an input to the ALU. The next one is the memory access stage. In this stage the control signals what need to be included are branch, memory read and memory write. Branch control signal will be used in the case of branch instruction. So in this case we specify it as branch if equal. Memory read will be used in the case of load instruction. Memory write will be used in the case of store instruction. In addition to these three different instruction uh, control signals, PC SRC will be also used in order to select the next sequential address with which PC need to be updated actually. So whether the PC will be updated with the branch target address or just with PC plus 4. The next one that is the last stage of pipeline is right back. In this case two control signals are required that is memory to register which actually decides whether the ALU output or the data from the data memory to the register file or uh, and register write is another control signal. So this register write will be enabling to perform a write operation to the register file. In this picture the control lines are included for different stages of pipeline. You can see in this first stage we have not given any control signals and similarly in the second stage also no control signals are included. This register write comes under the fifth stage of the pipeline but not second stage of the pipeline actually. Here you can see that as we have discussed three control signals will be used ALU SRC, ALU operation and register destination actually. And in the fourth stage you can see that branch, memory write, memory read and also PC SRC are the control signals used. And similarly here the last stage that is write back stage memory to register and register write are the two control signals what we are using in the last stage. So these two even though this is seems to be in second stage actually this will be enabled only in the uh, during the uh, write back stage. In this picture we are showing that a control unit which is designed during the single cycle data path will be generating the control signals based on the instruction. 
so the instruction which is fetched and stored in ifid register will be given as an input to the control control unit which generates different control signals actually so this ex is nothing but the control signals what need to be used in the next stage this m is will be having the control signals what need to be used in the third stage that is memory during memory access stage and write back is the control signals what need to be used during the write back stage actually so here ex means during execution stage we are using these control signals during memory access stage we are using these control signals and during write back stage we are using these control signals so once these are passed from id ex to the execution stage these execution stage control signals need not be forwarded to for the further stages because we have already made use of them so in the case of ex mem register only the control signals of m that is during memory access whatever is required and the write back stage control signals will be forwarded and in the case like once memory access is done only write back control signals will be forwarded to the final stage so here the complete diagram of multi cycle data path is given so here if you see this is the first stage of the pipeline from uh, once the instruction is fetched from the instruction memory it is given as an input to the control signals different control signals are generated which can be used for different stages in the pipeline actually so they are carry forwarded as we have discussed in the previous slide the references are david a patterson and john l hennessy computer organization and design the hardware software interface fifth edition thank you for the instruction fetch and this particular part comes under the instruction decode and this parts comes under the execution and these comes under the memory access this part comes under the write back stage of pipeline in the pipeline discussion we already know that we are supposed to introduce buffers in between different stages so that buffers is nothing but considered as different registers in this uh, case that is instruction fetch instruction decode resistor that is iff id resistor which is shown here which is uh, acting as a buffer in between the fetch and decode stages of pipeline similarly id ex is a resistor which acts as a buffer between the decode and execution stage and ex m will be stored into the id ex resistor the next stage is execution stage so here in this uh, discussion we are talking about the load instruction only so the load instruction whatever the resistor is specified and the data read data one which is stored in the id ex data here ex resistor will be stored in alu that is the first input is from read resistor or read data one to the alu and the second one is the sign extended value will be the input of the alu so alu result will be the operand address here so this operand address will be uh, stored in ex mem resistor this will not be uh, working out here because it is not a branch instruction and these uh, will be giving only in the case of branch instructions the next stage that is memory access dated for the next clock cycle in this stage instruction decode stage we uh, in the previous fed cycle during fed cycle we have seen that if the instruction fetched from the instruction memory is placed in the ifid register so from the instruction we are going to give the 16 offset bit value to the sign extension unit and the register from which we are going to read is given into the read register 1 so from that particular register file we are going to read, read the data from register 1 and the output comes from the read data 1 so this read data 1 and the sign extended sign extended value will be put into the id ex register along with the incremented pc value so three uh, data three data that is incremented pc value the read data 1 and the sign extended value will em register which acts as a buffer between the execution and memory access stage and mem wb is the register which acts as a buffer between memory access and write back stages
we will see different stages for load instruction that is how a uh, load instruction will be executed in different stages of pipeline using this data path design process so in the first stage that is fetch stage we can see that the instruction being read from the memory using the address in the pc and then being placed in ifid pipeline register the pc address is incremented by 4 and then pc is up in this video we are going to learn about the design of multi cycle data path this picture actually shows the single cycle data path using pipeline stages in this discussion we are going to consider there are five stages in the pipeline that is instruction fetch instruction decode execution memory access and write back are the five different stages that we are considering in the pipeline the multi cycle data path is nothing nothing but single cycle data path itself is divided into different stages of pipeline so this diagram actually shows the single cycle data path out of which which part is coming into which pipeline stage so if you see here this particular part is coming 